guys, so what I'm going to make for breakfast is some grape nut cookies. Um, I want to keep today's ones sin free. Um, there is an option to make chocolate ones and I'll talk about that at the end. So what you're going to need is 40 grams of grape nuts, which is a healthy extra. This is just a cereal you can buy in most supermarkets. Then if you're doing extra easy, you could use fat free yogurt. Or if you're doing extra easy SP, then go for cork. I'm going to use this skinny syrup and I'll pop a link where you can buy this in the comments below. And then you're just going to need one egg. And then for today's, to make them a little bit extra speedy, I'm going to also add some carrot. So let's make the cookies. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 40 grams of these grape nuts. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get it bang on 40. So if you go over, just make sure that you take the extra out and they go back in the box and not in our mouths, which I've done before. So 40 grams of grape nuts. Then what you wanna do is just add one egg. Next, add a cap full of the skinny syrup. If you don't want to use skinny syrup, you can use um, any sort of flavouring. So you could put in vanilla essence, orange essence, um, sugar-free squash, whatever you want really. So next we're going to put some of the cork or the yoghurt in. And I'm going to do a heaped tablespoon. So about that much. Obviously, I'm going to lick the spoon. Then the final thing you need to do is a blitz the carrot. So I'm going to do that off camera, otherwise it's going to be really, really noisy. So once you've blitzed your carrot in the food processor, that's just going to be added to the other ingredients. The great thing about adding the carrot is that it gives it a little bit more moisture, it bulks it out so it's going to give you more filling power and obviously it's speed food so it's brilliant for your weight loss. So let's move that out of the way. If we just mix that all together so everything gets combined, you can actually make this mixture the night before and leave it in the fridge overnight if you wanted to and then that just makes it a little bit quicker for you in the morning or if you're having these just as a snack or you're having them for dessert then you can just do it how I'm doing it now so once that's all mixed together you have got the option of just adding something else if you want to um, I think what I'm going to do today is just add a little bit of ground mixed spice as well so that just gives it that little Christmassy feel so I'm just going to put a little bit in the cap and pop it in. So it's probably about half a teaspoon. So let's get that. Oh, that smells so nice. It's the cinnamon. It just, oh, it just smells like Christmas. So once that's all mixed together, the next stage is going to be to pop it on some baking paper and then put them in the oven. So I've got the baking paper already laid out on a oven proof tray so we're just going to put like little splodges onto the baking paper so you want them to be a decent size um, because obviously they need to resemble a biscuit or a cookie so just put them in like little circles um, if you don't use the baking paper they're going to stick so it is quite important to make sure you have got the baking paper. You might want to even just spray it with fry light if you're a little bit worried about it sticking.
So I've preheated the oven to just under 200 degrees and then we're gonna pop the cookies in now. So we're gonna leave them in the oven for approximately 10 minutes. So I'm gonna check them after 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer. And then if they need a little bit longer, then we'll give them a bit longer, but hopefully they'll be done. So I'm just making some um, quick cork to go with it. So we're going to use the um, co-op cork, which is sim free and packed with protein. And then we're going to use some Valencian orange extract. And that is from Tesco's and it's completely sin free. So I'm just going to add a capful of that into the cork and then mix it up. So when you take them out of the oven, they should be quite firm to touch and they smell absolutely beautiful and this is the finished cookies so that's healthy extra B and they are completely sin free what you might want to do is like I said you might want to add a bit of fruit which obviously you'd need to sin or you might want to add some chocolate chips or something um, but they're just absolutely gorgeous so if you make them I really hope you enjoy them so now I'm just gonna make some lunch um, I'm gonna make an omelette first but I'm actually gonna use it as a wrap so I'm using some liquid egg white, some pink Himalayan salt and an egg. And then I'm just going to spray the pan with fry lye and make a really thin omelette. Inside the omelette, I'm just going to put some leftover chilli from last night's dinner. So I'm just going to heat that up in the microwave now. So I always heat the top of my omelette in the grill. So it's just a much easier way of making sure your omelette stays intact rather than trying to flip it in a pan. So guys, this is the finished lunch. So the leftover chilli, I've just popped inside an omelette and I'm gonna use that like a wrap. Then I've got my speed food as well as speed food in the chilli in a salad. And then I've just got some of my um, sugar-free squash in my hydrate bait. So that's my lunch. It's all completely sin free. It tastes absolutely amazing, probably even better the next day, the chilli. That recipe is already on my channel, so I'll pop a link below so you can see how to make it. And then you could also have this lunch as well. So, right, let's go and eat. So I'm working from home today. So I've got my hydrate mate, and I'm just gonna have a satsuma. Um, so this is a really cool, coffee table let me just move this out of the way so I don't knock it over um, <clears throat> so the coffee table lifts up and it means I can use it like a desk how cool is that love it okay guys so for dinner I'm gonna make a salmon curry and I'm gonna be using all of the ingredients here so we've got some vegetable stock <clears throat> which is just a stock cube. Um, I'm gonna put loads of speed food in it. So we've got peppers, we've got mushrooms, we've got onions, we've got courgettes, then we've got the chili, the garlic, and the ginger. Now, if you don't like any of these speed foods, you can always leave them out. You don't have to add courgette, you don't have to add mushroom, it's up to you. Definitely, I would recommend adding onion though. A curry isn't a curry without onion. So I'm going to make it using the Muscle Food Salmon Fillets, which I just get online. You could buy salmon from anywhere, um, or you can use chicken, or you can use corn, or you can use prawns. You can use whatever protein you want. Then I'm going to be using um, Fry Light, which again, you can find in any supermarket. And then I'm just going to use some passata rather than chopped tomatoes. And then instead of just using the curry powder that I normally use, I'm going to make tonight's one a Balti, and that's using the JD Seasonings Meal Kits. Um, these are just purchased online, and if you check the comments below, I've got a discount code, so you can get 20% off these as well. So, let's get cooking, people. The first thing I'm going to do is just add the fry light. So a few squirts of fry light. Next, I'm gonna add the salmon. Now, I would normally only ever have one piece of salmon, but because I'm not gonna have any carbs, I'm doing um, extra easy SP today. I'm not gonna have any rice or anything like that. So what I've decided to do is cook both pieces of salmon. Um, one probably is enough, really, guys, um, but I'm gonna do both, just so I'm not hungry later. So we're gonna fry them off for a bit. 
and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. So now I'm going to add all the vegetables, the ginger, the chilli and the garlic. There's loads of speed food going in there. Look how beautiful all the colours look as well. Honestly, the fresh ingredients, you just can't beat it. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the JD Seasonings Balti Powder. So it depends how many you're cooking for, to be honest. Um, I do like my curries quite strong, so I'm going to use nearly all of the pot. Um, sometimes you can get away with just using half the pot. Sometimes you're going to need all of the pot. It really depends which JD seasonings you're using because there's lots of different ones. So once that's all stirred, just leave that to simmer and make sure the salmon is completely cooked through. It smells absolutely incredible already. So the next thing I'm going to add is some vegetable stock. I've used half of the amount of vegetable stock. So that's half a stock cube and it's probably about 50 millilitres of stock that's gone in there. You don't have to be too particular about these things guys, it'll taste absolutely fine. So I'm going to use passata, um, some recipes call for chopped tomatoes but then they say to blitz your chopped tomatoes. Well that's basically passata, so I'm going to use passata. So I'm just going to add about three quarters of a carton of passata and then just mix it all together and then just leave that to simmer simmer where did that come from leave that to simmer and then do your accompaniment so whether that's rice whether that's cauliflower rice salad kale whatever you fancy so let's make the rice so to do the cauliflower rice, mega easy, just pop your cauliflower, doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of this bit of stalk attached to it, stick it in a food processor, make sure everything's clipped in and then just whiz it up. And once you've blitzed up all your cauliflower, all you need to do is heat up a frying pan and then pop your cauliflower rice in the frying pan and uh, this will only take about four or five minutes and then it'll be done. So I'm just going to top the finished curry with some coriander leaf and some Himalayan salt. What I decided to do, because I absolutely love kale at the moment, is I also added a little bit of kale into the cauliflower rice. So this is the final salmon curry. It's got loads of speed food in it. I've also added a few little chilies to the top and it's going to taste absolutely Stunning! So I can't wait to eat it. Dinner was amazing. That bowl tea is one of my favourite JD seasonings ever. So I'm going to finish off the rest of the cork now from this morning and I'm going to have that with some chock shot. Probably about one sin of chock shot, so that's two level teaspoons. And then <clears throat> Later on, if I need a bit of speed food, I'm going to have a satsuma. So it's quite a low sin day, guys, but I've been so full on free food. And the weekend was my birthday, so there was definitely some flexible sins. So I'm really, really happy with today's food choices. So that's going to conclude today's What I Eat In A Day video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Happy fopping.